Yo, welcome back to the BST4 channel. Wing nuts, what's going on? What is half the channel that we could do more with less? Man, I've been inspired by Harrison, the truth media, on getting this thing here done. Start doing some stuff. So I've started skipping a whole bunch of scenes, the boring wiring part. Um, we started labeling because I need to label, you know, because you just, when I flip this, I need to know what's going on. Ford doesn't have nothing to tell you what's going on in here. So I needed to tell myself what was going on underneath there. This is just a, yeah, I know what you guys are thinking, man. It's, it's, it's all of that. It's a bunch of stuff. I could tell you that. Let me see what this, this is a starter relay tan. So, you know, I got to button up a few things, man, to uh, see if this thing would turn over. And, um, let me see, uh, shoot, man, this is just a lot, like, this is the stuff, this is the regular Maverick harness that I gotta get, uh, going, and, um, yeah, man, so, I need to connect these wires, I need to connect the fuel pump here, um, it was a straight line, it didn't have a pump on here, it was just a, basically, a, a, like a return sump type thing. Don't have a whole, uh, a fuel pump. It does have a sending unit, which is, um, I ripped that off. That's for basically regulating, knowing how much you have in the fuel tank, in the second tank. So this is what I rigged up, and I'll hook this up. And now we got the fuel set up pretty easy. Um, not really easy, but you know, ran it in there, grommet style. That's where you see the picture of me jacking the car up. And then I ran this fuel line right up in here. And then we got some fittings and everything. I had to get this. This costs a lot of money, boy. You looking at um, $66 here. And the fuel filter. And we got the fuel line running all the way from here, all the way up to the front. You can see there, and that is the bracket that you guys seen in the community. You guys who got it right, right here, or close to it, Man, you guys have a, a, a pretty good eye for that. Ooh. Now, one thing I'm thinking now, remember with the Nissans, um, the ground was um, B positive. I know that, I'm, I'm thinking that this is running the same thing. Somehow it grounds out, it sends a signal, but the power signal turns into this, um, ground. And then the red will be, it's weird. All I know is positive, is negative and negative is positive when the key is on some kind of funky way i think that's what's going to be a problem but i'm going to run it like this and see what happens like that i'm using pat's explorer ecu if it burns up burn that up instead of the one that i took the pats out i got grounds everywhere put a ground here to, to the body because uh, the body needed more ground and then i just need to put grounds everywhere you know I got a few grounds here, one, two, and a black and white ground, and then this ECU has a ground here too that I gotta mount somewhere for the time being and um, check a few things out. So uh, let's see we can what we can do, man. I'm gonna bull crap you, man. This is like two hours later. I had some things to take care of, painting and all some other nonsense, and I came back to it. I was stumped on a few things. Um, first, it was um, power, um, uh, uh, fuel pump power. I'm trying to get it to run off of the ECU fuel pump. Yes, I can flick a switch and turn the um, fuel pump on or hardwire it. And I just wanted to double check because before I put that ECU in that I got with the PATS Delete, I had to find out a few things and first thing I found out is that the wiring up here was wrong. I mean I got it from the junkyard like that. I think that's why it came to the junkyard. I'm really thinking that now because the wiring was wrong on this side so it shouldn't have ran at all. You know if you guys probably know anything about this. It's um the firing order is um four three two one eight seven six five. And then right around here, this is four, seven, eight, two, three, six, five, one. So this whole side here was jacked up. Cause I think they thought this side goes to this side and this side goes to that side. But this side was all right. It was just this side that was wrong. It goes crossway and everything else. And 
Ah, uh, so I had to get a spark plug because one of them was broken. I had to go up underneath there, get that. I found one of the wires. I remember went to the junkyard just to get wires, so I had plenty of wires. Found this inside here. I'm gonna uh, roll a dice and plug up the ECU and just see what we can work with. Pats disable five speed. So slap this thing in, man, and I don't know, boy. I'm just putting it in and see what happens. All right, so we got that in, man, and um, dude, this is a mess down here. This is. So, we get some ground, see how that go. That is, go inside here. Oh, in here is a mess. Oh, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got that. Don't hear no fuel pump though. That's what I'm trying to listen for, but. We got that far, but I don't know. I'm lost at this point. This is where uh, probing and seeing if injectors work and all this stuff here. Like this tool here. This is for um, the injectors, I know. I'm a bootleg uh, backyard mechanic, but I got something intricate like that, which is wild, I know. I was dealing with those uh, Nissan. You better have one of these. Um, here's the problem. I don't have nobody else here to test it with me. That's the problem. So it's going to be hard for me to see it from wherever I'm at. Oh, boy. So let me see. I can kind of see it from here, hopefully. All right, so the injectors ain't firing, it ain't gonna fire. So now, I'm gonna turn this camera off. I'm gonna figure out that wiring, cause it's just too much, man. That was another hour. I ain't gonna sit here and bull crap you. All right, what I found out is the ECU didn't have any power. This is a relay. I don't know if you guys can see it, the EC, ECU power relay. I didn't hook any power to it. Um, the injector started to get a little light, but it was real dim. The ECU has power. Oh man, I forgot to even put that up. Let me plug that up, put this together, and then try it again. All right, put that on. Yo, you listen here, man. I am scared as all heck to have this PCM burn out. That's what I don't want. So. Oh man, I can't even see if it's firing. Oh man, oh! No. Oh. Yeah, that's how it is, man. Where is it? Did it fall? Oh, oh there it is. Right here. All right, we... Oh man, you don't know. All right, so... Need to be able to see if that is uh Clap on. all right. Now it's now the injectors are firing. Thank goodness. But we have a fuel issue. I know we do. Cause I haven't I haven't gotten that um that that fuel right. I know I don't, you know. Uh, that's that's the main problem. That daggone fuel. Let me see if I can hear the fuel. Oh boy. Hear the fuel pump humming or something. Nothing. It ain't getting no fuel. I dang sure know that. Dang it. 
I mean, I can hot wire it. Maybe. Where is it? Well, the fuel's supposed to be this thing here. Uh, all right. Cut it. See if I can get some regular. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We got that motherfucker to work, bitches. Oh, let's turn that fuel pump off. All right. Sound like a truck, though, but uh, I don't know why I didn't run for long. It's a lot of stuff, though. I'm excited. Don't get it f***ed up. I'm excited. But it's not running how I want it to run, you know, with the fuel pump on and everything. I want to get that right. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm excited, but it's not staying running, and I ain't got no... I'm gonna burn that water pump out. Uh, dang it. Let me see if I can. Which wire was it? This uh, it was this one, right? All right, let's let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it a double time. If it wasn't a fluke, let's try it again. Yo, we straight now, baby. This, whew, oh, let me turn this fuel pump off. Oh, man. Engine sounds good, it ain't, it ain't. Whew. Harrison, the truth media, this is all on you, brother. Thank you so much for giving me the inspiration to get back out here and um, do it. Um, I got a lot of stuff to clean up. We know that it's running, we're good. We just now to figure out the fuel situation. I mean, I can flick a switch and turn the fuel on, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to run in line with everything. Oh man, this feels so good. This is so cool, man. God dang it, man. This thing here, man. <laughs> man, let me tell you, you gotta have this thing here, man. If you're trying to figure out some stuff, man, you need injector lights to make sure that you know that you got things going on. Oh man, I gotta thank this guy right here, man, who uh, hooked this uh, ECU up. I don't wanna burn this mug out just in case, you know what I mean? So I'm going to uh, get this thing um, out and about. And man, oh man, I, oh, pff, yo, how can I forget my man right here, man? This is my boy, Shannon, yo. Straight up dude, man. Let me tell you something about him, man. Again, if you guys watch his channel, he be cussing. And I know the way some people be messing around with him, the way he drives and everything, but let me tell you something. When you when you out in Chicago, you gotta drive like that, man. This this ain't no it ain't no game out there. You don't know who the heck is following you. You know what I mean? Let me see what present he gave me, man. Let me see. Oh man. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Yeah. We're going to put this right in here. Don't mind if it's broken. Forget all of that nonsense right there. We'll take it. You understand what I'm saying? We will take this. We'll glue that mug up right there. We'll get this bitch to work. Trust and believe me, we'll get this mug to work and we're going to show you how to make this work. Yo, man, Shannon, thank you for the parts. I even like that it's broken. You know why? Because we're going to make that work. We're going to put that junk on the car, man. And that is a great 
present, man. All right, man, this video's been too daggone long, but I want to address a few things. You old school carburetor guys, you believe in that carburetor so much? For me to do that, it would have cost me an additional $600 to do, and it would have been in traditional form for this body. But I chose the EFI system because it was just a lot more simpler and the parts are right here. You go to the junkyard, pay for everything for $150, you come home and you start sweating. That's what I did and I got everything running except the fuel situation. So we have to get that fuel situation running right off of the ECU, not by jumping the daggone fuel system. That's not the proper way. So on the next video, man, we're gonna get to all of that and we're gonna get everything situated, man. And I thank you guys for the support and I thank you guys for skipping all the way through the video to get to this part. <laughs> And I appreciate you guys who watched the video in its entirety. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, this is a channel that builds more with less. All right? See you guys. Build the right thing when the things are unpopular. That's, that's the time to go build something.